Hey guys, welcome back to our channel Knowledge Kiosk. I am Divyansh Khari, your host, and today we delve into an exciting journey of understanding of how to make transition to data-centric roles of data analyst, data scientist, or even data engineer in this 21st century. So if you are someone who is very interested about data analytics or data science, data cleaning and stuff, then this video is for you. We'll cover the educational foundation, the necessary knowledge required experience, and the exact roadmap that you would require to make your transition to these data-centric roles. Also, before we get started on this video, I just wanted to say that please subscribe to our channel Knowledge Kiosk. So you're always the first to know whenever I post any new content and it also gives me the motivation to keep posting new and fresh content for you guys. So without any further ado, let's get started. So before we dive into and understand the educational experience or even the technical knowledge required for making a transitioning to data scientific roles, let's understand why data science has been so much trending for the last couple of years. With the rise of digital technologies, the volume of data being generated has reached staggering levels. From social media interactions to sensor data, every click, every search, or even purchase contributes to the data indulgence. Organizations recognize this, this data can be a gold mine of insights. Extracting value from this wealth of information requires skilled data professionals, driving the demand for data scientists. Also, before we dive deep, Let's kick off some of the statistics on the industry rapid growth and soaring demand. The data science job market has experienced an astounding 70% growth rate annually, reflecting the booming demand for data professionals. By 2025, it's projected that there will be around 2.7 million job openings for data-related roles, indicating the industry's immense appetite for talent. Now let's take a closer look at the diverse roles within the data science realm and the compensation they offer. The role of data scientist continues to be the most sought after, accounting for almost 46% of all data-related job postings. The annual salary for a data scientist in the US and Canada hovers around 120,000 USD, showcasing the high earning potential in this field. Before embarking on your data science journey, let's discuss the education background that can set you up for success. While there is no one-size-fits-all approach, a strong foundation in mathematics and computing science is crucial. A bachelor's degree in a field like mathematics, computing science, statistics, or engineering is a common starting point. Some universities even offer a specialized degree in data science or analytics. A mathematics degree also provides a solid understanding of linear algebra, calculus, and even statistics. Proficiency in programming languages like Python, R, data structures, and algorithms also goes a long way in becoming a good data scientist. Statistics also comes into play, a knowledge of probability, inferential statistics, or even experimental design would help a data scientist grow in his career. So engineers who possess strong analytical and problem-solving skills can go a long way in data-centric roles. A bachelor's degree in engineering, whether it's computing science, electrical, mechanical, or even other disciplines, provides a solid foundation in analytical thinking and logical reasoning. While not mandatory, Supplementing your engineering degree with coursework in mathematics, statistics, or even programming languages like Python can give you a head start in the data science realm. So now let's talk about the essential knowledge required for transitioning into data-centric roles. As a data scientist, you'll need a diverse skill set to handle the complexity of real-world data challenges. So let's explore the knowledge areas. Number one comes the programming languages. Among the programming languages, Python is used extensively by data scientists or even data analysts. Python is used for data manipulation, analysis, and visualization. Python is often dubbed as Swiss Army Knife of programming languages. It's a staple in data science toolkit because it's known for its versatility, its, its rich libraries, and community support. Python's versatility allows you to perform a wide range of tasks from data cleaning and pre-processing to complex machine learning models. The Python ecosystem boasts powerful libraries like NumPy and Pandas for data manipulation, Matplotlib and Zbond for visualization, and Scikit-learn for machine learning. With a massive community, finding solutions to problems and accessing tutorials is a breeze in Python. R is another language which is used massively by data scientist people. R is specialized for statistical analysis and visualization. R was designed with statistics in mind, making it particularly powerful for statistical analysis and visualization. The deployer, the tidyr packages streamline data manipulation, making it easier to clean and transform datasets. 
R's ggplot2 libraries Renault for creating intricate and informative visualizations. Other than Python and R, SQL is also used massively by any data professional. SQL is essential for interacting with relational databases, retrieving, updating, and managing data. You can perform complex data manipulations and aggregations using SQL select, join, and group by clauses. SQL is integral for extracting insights from databases and creating reports, making it a valuable tool in business context. So apart from knowing SQL, R, or Python, a data professional must also be well-versed with machine learning and AI. They also need to understand various machine learning algorithms and their applications. Libraries like scikit-learn or TensorFlow can be your allies in performing machine learning. They also need to know how to perform data manipulation and data cleaning along with data visualization. Tools such as Matplotlib, Seaborn, Tableau can be a game changer when it comes for performing data visualization. With the advent of large amount of data, big data technologies, and making use of Hadoop and Spark for handling massive data sets also comes as a great game changer. Data professionals must also be well versed with big data technologies like Hadoop and Spark for handling massive data sets. So now let's explore the differences between data engineer, data scientist and data analyst and the responsibilities and skills required for each of them. Starting with data engineer, which is the backbone of any data driven operation. Some of the responsibility of data engineer include designing and creating data pipelines, ensuring sufficient data collection, storage and retrieval. It also includes data aggregation, which means aggregating the data from various sources including databases, APIs, and external systems. Data transformation. Clean, reprocess, and transform raw data into usable formats. Database management. Maintain and optimize databases for performance and scalability. The skills required for a data engineer position include proficiency in programming languages like Python, Java, or Scala. It also requires knowledge of SQL, which is essential for managing and querying databases. For data pipeline tools, familiarity with tools like Apache Spark, Hadoop, and ETL frameworks are also essential. So now let's dive into the role of a data scientist, who is the master of extracting insights from the data. Some of the responsibility of data scientists include data analysis, analyze and interpret complex data patterns, trends, and correlations, predictive modeling, Build machine learning models to make predictions and inform decisions. Experimentation. Design and conduct experiments to uncover valuable insights. And also data visualization. Create visual representation of data to communicate findings effectively. If we talk about the skill set required for data scientists, it includes advanced programming, proficiency in languages like Python or R for data manipulation and analysis. It also includes statistical and machine learning knowledge. So a strong foundation in statistical concepts and machine learning algorithms is a huge asset. Data visualization tools. Familiarity with libraries like Matplotlib, Seaborn, and Tableau is also crucial for data scientists. Lastly, let's explore the role of a data analyst, who is the storyteller who transforms data into actionable insights. Some of the responsibilities of a data analyst include data exploration, Diving into dataset to identify trends, patterns, and anomalies. Reporting. Create clear and concise reports that communicate data-driven insights. Along with querying. Retrieving specific data points from databases using SQL. Along with performing descriptive analysis and statistical calculation. If we talk about the skill set, a proficiency in SQL is uh, very necessary for data querying and manipulation. For data visualizations, they also need to have the ability to create visualization using tools like Excel, Tableau, or even Power BI. A strong analytical thinking with a keen eye for patterns and ability to draw meaningful connections and conclusions from data is also very crucial. It's also important to note that all the three roles of data scientist, data engineer, and data analyst often collaborate closely to create a well-rounded data ecosystem. Data engineers provide the clean process data that data scientists can use to build models and extract insights. Data scientists often hand over their models and findings to data analysts who can further interpret and communicate them to stakeholders. So there's a huge demand for all the three roles.
So now let's discuss the roadmap and also help you preparing for data science position roles. Number one, evaluate your skills. Take stock of your strengths and areas that need improvement, be it programming, statistics, or even domain knowledge in machine learning or AI. Number two, define your goal. Decide on the specific data science role you are aiming for. Is it data engineer, data scientist, or data analyst? Next, we move on to the skill development. To thrive in data science, honing your skills is crucial. Programming proficiency. Learn languages like Python R with Python being primarily important due to its versatility. Brush up on fundamental skill concepts including linear algebra, calculus, and probability. Also gain a solid understanding of common machine learning algorithms and their applications along with how to interpret and manipulate data making use of libraries like pandas and numpy along the way now let's discuss the relevant courses and resources you would need to accelerate your learning for the data science position there are so many online course portals like coursera edx or even khan academy to offer comprehensive data science courses and know in data science specialization that cover a wide range of topics also read recommended data science books and follow up blog posts from experts in the field Along with these kind of knowledge, you also would need to do a hands-on project practice. So hands-on practice is invaluable for learning and building a portfolio. Work on real-world data projects that interest you, demonstrating your skill to the potential employers. Participate in Kaggle competition to tackle diverse data challenges and learn from the community. Also showcase your projects on GitHub to provide evidence of your practical skills and knowledge. Connecting with data enthusiasts can also provide invaluable insights and opportunities. Networking and community engagement also plays a huge role when one wants to make a transition to data-centric roles. Join data science forums, Reddit communities, and the LinkedIn groups to interact and learn from professionals. Attend data science meetups and conferences to network and stay updated on industry trends. If you talk about a certification, earning a certification can also add credibility to your profile and portfolio. Complete data science specialization and earn certificates to showcase your skill from Coursera or EDX. For a professional certificate, look into the industry recognized certificates like those offered by Microsoft, AWS, or even Google. Last but not the least, build a strong resume and portfolio. Your resume and portfolio are your first impression. So tailor your resume, highlighting your relevant skills, projects, and experience specific for the role you are applying for. A polished portfolio means also ensuring your GitHub portfolio and personal website are organized and showcase your best work. And there you have it, your guide to becoming a data scientist in this 21st century. Remember that this journey requires dedication, continuous learning, and adapting to evolving technologies. Start building your foundation today, and who knows where your data science journey might land into. Embrace the power of learning, tackle on real-world projects, and immerse yourself in the vibrant data community. Remember that every line of code you write, every site uncovered, brings you closer to your dream job. So embark on this exciting journey, armed with knowledge, curiosity, and determination. Your future in data science awaits you. Let's make waves together in this era of endless opportunity. Thanks for joining me on this video, and until next time, keep learning and keep coding and keep on improving yourself. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe to our channel Knowledge Kiosk. Thank you for watching me and I'll see you in the next one.